Hey guys, it's Rena. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new cosmetic company called Cryptic Cosmetics. First of all, I love the name. Um, this company is totally my aesthetic. Uh, I know that sometimes I bounce back and forth between like crazy fun colors, sugar pill, and then like Kat Von D goth type of thing. It's just how I've always been. It's kind of like a weird balance between really cutesy and like really dark goth subculture-y. Um, but this definitely falls more on the like goth side. Um, and I'm really digging it so far. So, a little bit of background. Uh, the company was started by Depeche Girl. That's um, the, the woman's Instagram name. She um, does lip swatches. She does lip art. She's really well known for them. Um, she's done lip swatches for other companies. And so she ended up coming out with five liquid lipsticks of her own. Um, I only have one, but I've actually ordered two more because I was so impressed with it. Um, but yeah, so the one that I have is called Gore Couture, and it's actually what I'm wearing today. Um, in person, I think it, it's showing up a little bit lighter on camera than it is in person. It is a little bit darker, a little bit deeper plum. For some reason in the video, it's just, it's just washing me out a little bit just because of the lights. But it definitely does look like this, just a tad bit darker, not much. Um, so... I got my package yesterday. I think I ordered this on the 8th, so August 8th, so that was Monday, and I received it yesterday on Friday. It shipped out, I believe, the very next day. Um, yeah, it, it shipped out It shipped out Tuesday, which I thought was really impressive for a brand new company um, that was probably flooded with orders uh, because of the grand opening and all the Instagram advertisements that they did. So I was really impressed with the turnaround time. Um, it came in a super, super cute box that was custom printed that says Cryptic Cosmetics. It says the website on the bottom. I'm going to try not to show you guys my address. On the inside, it says Beauty for the Obscure, which I think is super cute, and I love that sentiment. Um, it had a adorable little business card, which I like to keep these, um, but I use them for something kind of weird, I guess. I use these to um, mix pigments with mixing medium to use them as uh, like a liquid liner, like a custom liquid liner. So I like to keep my business cards for that because they give me a nice flat surface. And it's usually laminated like this one, so it doesn't like soak through the paper. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a weird side note. And then inside it had really cute paper with crosses all over it, kind of like gothic crosses and polka dots. Super, super adorable. So. That's the packaging, super secure, um, it was really quick shipping and everything came in looking nice and I was really happy with it. I like how it's an entire, the presentation is complete, you know, you get the adorable box, it has the tissue paper inside that matches the aesthetic, it's all just a very complete thought. Now, so then you get the box for the actual lipstick and this is what it looks like, it has the brand name. And it has these beautiful, like, roses, this rose printed onto the, the packaging. I don't know if you can see it. It says the Beauty for the Obscure again. And it has the color on the bottom with the sticker. And these are actually technically called matte lip veils. So that's, like, their, their name. They're liquid to matte lipsticks, but they're called the matte lip veils. So the inside, I noticed last night super adorable it's tartan it's like black with like a light pale lavender shade and it's just super super cute but what we really care about is the actual lipstick itself so it comes in this frosted tube so you can kind of see the color but it definitely has like this frosted look which I like I think it looks pretty chic and then the top is black a matte it's like a matte black with this um shiny rose pattern kind of on top you can feel it it's textured um but yeah i love the aesthetic of the the actual tube i think it looks really nice the uh color is a sticker on the bottom so if that bothers you you know that's something you know just to think about because sometimes i don't like it when the the names peel off um the applicator is a little bit different than most liquid lipsticks that i've used it is not your standard doe foot so it's kind of this teardrop shaped uh, applicator and it has a little indent in the middle. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of like a hole. Very short applicator as well in comparison to 
the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks or Jeffree Star or something along those lines. ColourPop, it's definitely a lot shorter. Um, but I find that because of like the curvature to it, it's the perfect size and shape to apply to the lips. This is probably one of the easiest applications I've ever had for liquid lipstick. I'm not very good at applying it. I'm just not. But this really helps and it helps it go on really evenly and smooth. Um, so I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys just so you can see what it looks like on my hand versus on my lips. This is just one dip. I just went back and forth twice on my hand. There you go. This is like a, uh, I think it's like a plum, a mauve leaning plum, plum, deep plum. I can't remember what the actual website describes it as, but I describe it as like a plum, a mid-tone plum probably. Um, really beautiful. And one thing I will say is that these dry down super, super quick. I think that's awesome. I hate when I'm like sitting there and just waiting for my lipstick to dry like, oh my god, you know, come on. No, this stuff dries down really quick, but not quick enough that if you made a mistake that it's going to be like the end of the world. But it's very quick. It feels very comfortable. Um, like you can see this is almost dry. Just the edges where it's a little thicker it is still wet. But this I put on about 10 minutes ago, maybe 15. So I'm going to go ahead and do a kiss test on my hand. And you can see there's really like nothing there at all. So I'm pretty impressed with the transfer. I wore this yesterday for about five hours um, before I went to bed. So I wore it for about five hours. That's about as long as I usually wear liquid lipstick unless it's going to be like a really, really long day. Um, and it dried really quickly. It didn't transfer like when I did the kiss test. It did transfer onto a cup, but only very, very slightly. Like it wasn't a whole... Like, I didn't leave a whole lip print on the cup. It was just, like, very little traces of color. Um, I ate after about an hour of wear, and it did, like, wear right here. Like, right on the inner little portion of the lip, like, right there and there, is the only places where it really faded. Um, it was very greasy pizza, so that's something to think about. Um, and that's not too unexpected with, like, almost any lipstick I own, even... The, my previous favorite like liquid lipsticks, Jeffree Stars, um, even those would wear away in the center with greasy foods. So this is not uncommon. Um, now the, the benefit to these is like, even though it does wear away a little bit, reapplication is so simple. Like it just glides on and it layers beautifully. Um, I have had lots of issues layering with the Kat D's. They, um, like if I'm reapplying a couple hours later, they just, they crack and crumble and peel. Um, even though I love them, they, they're great, but like when you reapply, you it's just a mess for me. These these weren't, it just wasn't a mess. It was really nice and simple. Um, I will say they're not like the super longest wearing ever. They looked good at the end of the five hours, but it wasn't flawless. Um, and I don't, I don't know that I would feel comfortable not looking at it for six hours, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to go out and I'm not going to look at my lipstick. Um, but they're the most comfortable I've worn so far. I do have another one from Jouer uh, that I just got in the mail and I tried it last night, like right before bed, and it felt super comfortable. So these these two, Cryptic and Jouer, might be having a little battle here, but they're super comfortable. They feel like you're not wearing anything. It just feels soft and and just really nice and it doesn't like cling to my dry lines my lips um, it's really nice I love the feeling of it um, so I guess a little bit of a breakdown they are $17 a piece which is about average for a liquid lipstick it's actually under price for like if you compare it to Kat Von D or something that you can find at Sephora like Anastasia Beverly Hills um, let's see how much product you get you are getting 0.091 fluid ounces or 2.7 milliliters. Um, I think that's about standard. Um, the shipping is $5, I think, somewhere around 5 On the first day, it was only like two seventy-five or something, which was awesome, but now they've upped it just a little bit. It's still reasonable. That means that you can get like one lipstick for about 20, uh, $21, $22, including shipping. Um, 
I recently ordered Batwalk and Tortured Soul because I also thought those looked gorgeous and after trying this I knew I wanted them. I think these are going to be the perfect lipsticks for fall uh, no matter what your aesthetic is. I know that a lot of people are saying that these are like goth nudes and I totally get that because they are. They're not like blue or purple so I guess this would be a nude for a goth. Um, <laughs> But I think they're just great colors. I think anybody can wear these. I think they're fantastic for fall. Um, or any time of the year. Honestly, this color is great. I love this color. Uh, they just feel so nice and smooth and comforting. Like, they're comfortable. They just are comfortable. And I think that's so important with liquid, li liquid lipsticks. Especially leading into the fall and winter when, you know, skin becomes drier because of the drier air and the colder weather. Um, I think these are going to be really nice. And I think they also just, they look cute. They just look adorable. I think they're going to be really nice to have on your dresser. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do is just actually reapply some just so you can see what it looks like when it's drying down. Um, I don't need to reapply, like there's, but I just want to show you what it looks like and um, how it reapplies, like how it looks. So there's my lips. They're slightly dry today, but that's just that's just my life. Um, it's not because of this, because anything would probably be sinking into my lips right now. But I'm going to go ahead and just reapply with the mirror so you can see the how it looks um, layered. Pretty quick application, but there you can see they're, it's drying down still, but it layers through really well. It doesn't look clumpy or heavy, and I think that's like super important, you know, when you have a liquid lipstick. So yeah, there it is, and that's what it looks like when it's still kind of wet, but you can see it's already drying down. Um, so thoughts, basically, at the end of it, it's not sticky. The only time it's sticky is when it is drying down. After that, it's totally not sticky, super comfortable, lightweight. Yeah, it's drying down so nicely. I, I'm in love with the way that it dries down. Um, the only thing I can see as a negative, uh, besides the fact that they're not really touted as being super long wearing, is the scent. It's like cupcakey, and it doesn't bother me, which is odd because normally vanilla like kills me. This isn't bad. Like, it's not a bad smell. I think a lot of people will end up liking it. Um, but something to consider if you are very uh, conscious about smells in your cosmetics, it's almost like they took a cupcake and a cosmetic scent and, like, married it together. Um, so just something to think about. But now that it's completely dry, yeah. I mean, like, it, it's fine. It didn't accentuate anything that wasn't already accentuated because of my dry skin. Um, and it just looks nice, I think. I think it looks nice. Um, I love the color as well. Gore Couture. Really beautiful. Solid, no streaks. I don't know what else I can really say about it because I feel like I've hit everything, but, um, I don't want to keep rambling on. But I will probably make a video when I get the other two just to see if there's consistency, um, from color to color within the formula. I think these are really fun, um, and cute and I want to keep the box but I know it's not practical and I shouldn't keep clutter but it's just like so adorable um but yeah cryptic cosmetics they just opened I'll have the link to their website below not sponsored at all um just someone who really liked their lipstick that they got um yeah so I will put uh any relevant links below one for the website probably Depeche Girls Instagram and the brand Instagram because they do a lot of posting on there. So I will talk to you guys soon and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're, you have any questions about it, something that I haven't hit, please let me know down below and I'll, um, I'll try and get back to you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys later.